It is just a remarkable, remarkable feat of engineering. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest secret passages. That very pathway still stands high and runs through the city's main roads. The castle was also used as a prison for those who planned attacks against the Vatican. Holmes could get hold of his victims and move them along and down a three-dimensional machine for killing that enabled him to get his innocent people into his into his web, into his, his mesh, in this place that he called his castle. Look at this! So the cops didn't know it even existed. That is amazing! For this list, we're looking at instances of secret tunnels and passageways throughout history. Had you heard of all these tunnels? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. El Chapo's Escape Route Joaquin El Chapo Guzman is one of the world's most infamous drug kingpins, and in order to evade the law, he used a number of secret passageways over the years. El Chapo, tiene antecedentes. El Chapo has a history. He's built at least 62 drug tunnels between Mexico and the United States. Throughout this area, he's built drug tunnels, so he has the experience and he has the technicians to do it. In 2014, tunnels were discovered that led from El Chapo's home to the sewage system. They were accessed by a secret hatch underneath a bathtub. They led to a safe house a couple of miles away. We see artifacts and what passes for entertainment. Tunnel porn? And this isn't the only time tunnels have been used in the illegal drug trade. In 2006, a 2,360 foot tunnel was discovered that went from Mexico to the United States that was being used to move large amounts of cannabis. It is just a remarkable, remarkable feat of engineering. Number 9. The Monastery of Mo Santo Dil Library Passage In the early aughts between 2000 and 2002, over a thousand Aquarian books disappeared from the Monastery of Mo Santo Dil in France. It turns out they were stolen by Stanislas Goss, who collected ancient books, and who has discovered an old map that detailed a secret passageway that led to the monastery's library. The route he had to take involved scaling the exterior walls of the monastery and ultimately using a hidden hatch behind the library's cupboards. Eventually, the thief was caught based on footage from CCTV cameras. Number 8. The Hawkehurst Gang Smuggling Passage The Hawkehurst Gang operated in the southeast of England in the 1730s and 40s and was considered one of the most fearsome criminal groups in history. They would steal things like wool, and soon became so feared they would even drink in pubs with their weapons on the table. There was a secret passageway connecting two inns in the area, the Old Bell and the Mermaid Inn, which the gang members used to smuggle their goods. Because evidence of the tunnels no longer remains, it's hard to know whether tales of these passageways are based on reality or have been embellished for folk tales since the 18th century. Some believe they simply used secret cellars and barns for storage of their illegal wares. Number 7. The Regal Knickerbocker's Secret Exit It's now known as the Millennium Knickerbocker, but back in the Prohibition era, the Regal Knickerbocker was a grand 350-room establishment in Chicago. It was built during the 1920s, but when it was being remodeled in the 80s, some construction workers came across what appeared to be a secret door in one of the ballrooms on the penthouse floor. The door led to a stairway, which was directly connected to the street level. Look at this! So the cops didn't know it even existed. That is amazing! Yeah. It is so cool seeing how much history is still intact from the 1920s and 30s here. It's suspected that this was used to evade the law while illegally drinking and gambling, when neither was permitted. Number 6. The White Tiger Unit's Escape Route while so many stories of secret passageways involve triumphant escapes, this story unfortunately does not have a happy ending. The Biakotai, or White Tiger Unit, was a group of several hundred teenage samurai who took part in the Boshin War. A group of 20 or so fighters escaped from Imperial troops during a raid using a secret passageway, and when they came out, they saw what they believed to be their castle on fire, making them think they had lost the battle. In fact, it wasn't actually the castle that was aflame, but the group of boys committed mass suicide rather than live with the loss of their lord and families in the fire. Unfortunately, they had been mistaken, and the castle had not fallen. The smoke and flames were rising from nearby buildings, misleading the group of the actual fate of their lord's castle. Number 5. Versailles' Various Passageways Although Versailles is one of the world's best-known palaces, it hides a number of secrets. King Louis XV had his mistress, 
Madame Dubarry stay in a room in the palace that had a hidden door and stairway that led to his own chambers. The apartments intended to blow everyone's minds. And you can see why the kings later, Louis XV and Louis XVI, they didn't want to live in these rooms. They're too big, and they also didn't want to change them. They're too magnificent. She was not allowed to enter the king's room, so he would traverse the passage to visit her. During the French Revolution, when the royal family was under siege by protesters, Marie Antoinette escaped from the palace using a secret passageway, but was apprehended just a day later. Number 4. H. H. Holmes Passages This secret passage story is not for the faint of heart. One of history's most notorious serial killers, H. H. Holmes, built a building that became known as the Murder Castle during the time of the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Holmes himself was the architect of the building. He was the only one who knew its design. There was this constant turnover of workers. The building was alleged to be used as a hotel, but it was filled with trick doors, secret passageways, soundproof rooms, and chutes leading to the basement all of which Holmes used to torture and kill his victims, ultimately disposing of their bodies in his homemade crematorium. Holmes could get hold of his victims and move them along and down a three-dimensional machine for killing that enabled him to get his innocent people into his, into his web, into his, his mesh in this place that he called his castle. Yikes. Number three, Nottingham Castle's secret entrance. In 1330, King Edward II of England was captured and imprisoned by nobleman Roger Mortimer, the first Earl of March. Edward eventually died while in captivity. Publicly, it will be claimed that Edward has died of natural causes, but as news of his death spreads, suspicion of murder grows. Edward's son, Edward III, as well as a band of supporters, however, stormed Mortimer's defenses using a secret passageway in Nottingham Castle. Despite the fact that Mortimer had hundreds of men stationed to keep intruders out, Edward's supporters used secret tunnels to arrest Mortimer, who was ultimately executed for treason to the crown, and the murder of the king, Edward II. Number 2. The Passetto di Borgo The Passetto di Borgo is a 2,600-foot-long passageway that spans the distance from Vatican City with the Castel Sant'Angelo. That very pathway still stands high and runs through the city's main roads. The castle was also used as a prison for those who planned attacks against the Vatican. It dates back to at least 1277, and over the centuries has been used by the Vatican's popes while they were at risk or under persecution. In 1494, when the King of France, Charles VIII, invaded Rome, Pope Alexander VI used the passageway to evade danger. The following century, it was used by Pope Clement VII during the sack of Rome. At that time, almost the entire Swiss Guard was murdered by Emperor Charles V's soldiers, but the Passetto allowed the Pope to escape. An urban Roman myth was born as a result of the Passetto's reputation as a path to safety that says if a man walks 70 times along the Passetto, all his problems will disappear. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Great Pyramid's Mysterious Secret Chamber The discovery has excited archaeologists and historians around the world. But Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities has warned them not to get carried away. There have long been suspicions that the builders of Egypt's pyramids used secret passageways and even booby traps to deter potential grave robbers. Of course, it's impossible to verify these hypotheses 100%, but one new discovery has scientists excited to solve a new mystery about the ancient Egyptians. A secret chamber was discovered in the Great Pyramid using cosmic ray technology that detected a space that had been previously unknown to experts. Now, a cascade of questions. How did the Egyptians use this space? And did they leave anything behind? There are many theories about what the space may have been used for, but because it would be destructive to actually access it, we may never know its true purpose. The purpose of the cavity is not clear, with it potentially serving as a separate chamber or a structural support. The discovery has, however, been labelled a breakthrough by the scientists involved, showing how modern particle physics can be put into practice by archaeologists. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.